Dear friends, uh, we are back with our new episode of the BG Dental Tips. And this time I will show you a very interesting trick how to perform occlusal stamp from the wax up if you need to make a major occlusal rehabilitation and occlusal restoration as well. Before I will start, I would like to remind you not to forget to put likes to this video, to sign up to our uh, YouTube channel and to share this video with your colleagues because algorithms of uh, YouTube work like that. More you like, more people, more our colleagues will see that video and our dental world will become better and better and better because of you, my friends. So be so kind to put likes and let's go. So here we have the wax up model and necessity to do the major occlusal rehabilitation. It can be a full mouth rehab, for example, or part of the aesthetic makeover with the veneers and when you need to do some occlusal changes in the back teeth, whatever. So there are many applications of this technique, but the technique is, is that way. Uh, we have multiple approaches to transfer this wax up into the patient's mouth. One of the approaches is to use transparent silicon index and the flow composite, for example. Then you can use also, um, let's say, a transparent silicon index and the injectable technique. But the thing is that it's not that precise from one perspective. And another perspective is that if you will use flow composite on the occlusal surface, in the long run, I'm not sure that it will survive that much as the normal packable composite. So what I would suggest you as an option, and again, I'm not saying that this is the best option. Our tips and tricks are about multiple options, multiple tips that you will uh, be able to use in your practice and then you will decide which one is good in that cur current clinical situation, okay? So here we have a trick. Basically, we use flow composite to make an occlusal stamp and uh, as you may see here, I make this occlusal stamp not just over the occlusal surface, but also I extend this flow composite to the buckle and to the palatal surface. So we create so-called a semi-crown of the uh, occlusal surface and the tooth from the wax up model and that will give you superior stability when you will uh, work with this stamp on the patient's mouth you will get really nice uh, rigid support to be uh, able to transfer this wax up into the patient's mouth with a packable composite so in this case you can see how they look like multiple stamps for uh, different teeth so in these cases we are going to restore molar teeth of the patient and this is how it they look like. Here we have uh, our case isolated. We have to remove this uh, filling, then we do sandblast and uh, extend it as a stamp, as you can see here, that goes to palate and to the lingual side, actually gives you support of this uh, feature over the patient's tooth. So then, as usual, what we do after the bonding, after the, pro the, the adhesive preparation, when you will place your last layer of the packable composite, then you put Teflon and then you will use stamp this one, you pack it, you hold it, you press it, then you will remove it, take out Teflon and then you will get your wax up transferred into the patient's mouth using packable rigid composite in predictable way. I would like to ask you uh, to share in your comments. Uh, maybe you have some tips and tricks also how to transfer wax up into the patient's mouth with the composite uh, restorations. Maybe you have some really interesting solutions and I think that everybody will definitely benefit from your comments and from your discussions. So do so and may the dental force be with you. See you next time.